Okay, here's our next instalment and this is our last instalment where we're working in demo mode. After today we'll have the whole thing planned so the next instalment will begin the sewing. So here I am at the main menu, design sew quilt, edit sew existing and I am finding my project catalogue and here is my project with the block patterns in it. This is the one I want to choose continue and there it is and IQ wants us to do the reference point thing to the alignment but because we're in demo mode it doesn't matter where we touch okay so here is my quilt with the block patterns in so we are going to put the borders in today and we are going to put the sashings in today so the first thing I'm going to do is put the border in and I'm going to place the border patterns using path pattern so we are going to go add edit pattern, add pattern, block pattern, and we are going to select a block. And I'm going to select this top border block. Continue. Now I'm going to go and find my geometric catalog because I want just the straight line. So I'm touching L to find the line. Here is line continue and it's put it in that top block where I want it. I'm going to move, grab the start point and move it until it snaps to the center of that border. Okay, now I'm going to use stretch. I'm going to anchor the start point and I'm going to grab the end point and bring it over until it snaps to the, the center of that side of the uh, border block. Okay, finished. Now that is going to be the path that the actual feather pattern that I want to stitch is going to travel along. Using path pattern uh, makes it easy fitting in the real pattern that you want to sew. So I'm going to go here, add edit pattern, path pattern. This is my path. Continue. And now I'm going to find my project catalogue and I'm going to choose the Simply Feathered. Continue. Now I'm going to zoom in now to the border. So you can see IQ has automatically put 20 repeats on there. That's way too many. It's too small. Uh, let me turn my zoom off. Um, so I'm going to reduce the number of repeats and at this point I'm just kind of guessing I'm going to put in five repeats. Okay now I can see the pattern more clearly it's still a little small and it's also uh, not the right way up. I, I don't want the pattern to be this way up I want it to be the other way up so I'm going to hit flip Y. That's how I want it. Now because the start and end of this feather pattern isn't in the centre, uh, but I put my path in the centre of the border, it's placed the pattern uh, up high um, and there's a big gap here and a little gap here. Right? I want that feather pattern to be further down into the border. So I can do two things, I can either um, do that later or right now I can modify my path down here and I'll just hit the a down arrow, tap, 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 until I'm guessing that it's in the right position. Now I hit finished and I go back to the path pattern page. That looks a bit better. Now these feathers are still too small. They don't fill the space nicely. So I'm going to reduce the number of repeats by one, make it four repeats. Now that's better. Uh, there's still a big gap here, but I like this better. Now, I could go down to three repeats. Now, that fills the space, but what I'm trying to do with this pattern is match the size of this feather to the size of the feathers in the blocks. And this is a bit too big. I, I personally don't like that, so I'm going to put it back to four repeats. And I'm going to live with the... Uh, bigger gap here. Let's just try changing the height. See what that looks like. That will fill the space more. 
but again I don't like the way they're long and skinny as, to compare, as compared to these so I'm going to put it back down to 100% now this is all my personal choice if you like that go ahead and keep it that way I would rather have this big gap here which la allows plenty of room for my binding or I can just trim the, the border back uh, I'm going to do one more thing before I exit out of this page. I'm going to turn my grid on and I'm going to change it to a quarter inch and I'm going to zoom in because I want to see that this, the bottom of this feather design uh, is about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the block and I can see it is. I maybe move it down just a little bit uh, but I can do that um, in a minute or two when I've exited out of this page. For right now it's good. So let's zoom out again. Okay, let's pan. Okay, that's good. I'll turn my grid off at this point. Okay, I like that. Um, oh, before I exit here too, I'm just looking at this. See how this feather comes up to the diagonal uh, in the corner of the um, block, uh, corner of the border there? That's good. I don't want that to overlap that diagonal line because the feather pattern coming in this direction will come up to here as well. So they'll meet nicely. OK, I like that. There may be a few more modifications I make in a minute or two, but right now I'm happy with the number of repeats and their scale. So I'm going to hit finished here. Do you want to add another path pattern? No. You may or may not get that pop up. Uh, box. Don't worry if you don't see it. You've probably told it to not ask you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to get rid of my path. I don't need that straight line anymore. So add, edit pattern, delete pattern, and touch that straight line. It's red. That's good. I know I've selected the correct pattern. If you, if you find it hard touching that straight line, zoom way in so you can touch it more easily. Continue. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. Okay, so there is my, uh, my half my border pattern. Now I'm going to just fine tune it a little bit more. So I'll go modify pattern, select the pattern you want to modify, this one, continue. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to turn on my grid again, make it quarter an inch, zoom in even a little bit more. OK, let's turn zoom off. I'm going to move my pattern down a little bit. OK, and I'm going to, I'm looking here. I kind of like that, but I think I want to bring that out so it's touching the diagonal. So I'm just going to change the width. Uh, yeah. OK, now, when you change the width of a pattern, let me zoom out. it changes it at both ends, it kind of stretches uh, from the middle out, so this end will have moved as well as this end. So I want this still in the centre. So I'm going to zoom in there. And I can see that it's just a little bit over that line, so I'm going to move it. So the start is right on that center center line. See, that's the center of my border block. Let's turn the grid off just to make. That's the center of my border block. Let's turn the grid on again because that's helping me. So I'm making sure that start is over that center grid line. Okay, let's zoom. Let, no, let's pan along to the other end because I want to make sure it's not crossed over that diagonal too much. No, that's good. That's good. So now we'll go zoom out and we'll turn the grid off. Okay, let's go, um, let's pan it over a bit. Good. All right, so that's half of my top border. So now because I want it uh, symmetrical, I want it to stitch out to the corner from the other side of here, all I'm going to do is copy this pattern. So copy pattern, continue, flip X, and I'm going to move it so that start snaps to that start there. OK, let's zoom out so you can see the whole border. OK, I like that. So when we come to stitch this, um, we'll stitch out from the centre and out from the centre like that. 
Uh, okay, this is good. I like this. Let's go zoom full. Let's go finished. Now, because this is a square, I can just copy this complete border and put it in uh, on the all, all the other sides. So let's go copy patterns, select this one and this one, continue, rotate, and we're going to rotate them 90 degrees. So I'm changing this until it says 90 degrees. And I'm going to move it and I'm going to grab the center and I'm going to snap it to the center of the block. Let's zoom in so you can make sure it's right there. Let me just turn the grid on because remember I want it quarter an inch from the block. That's the edge of the block. Let's turn the grid on. I've still got quarter inch grid. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I need to move it over. See, it's not close enough, so I'm going to move it. I could just grab it like this and move it, but now it's moved off that center line. So let me put that back. I want it to be snapped right there. That's why I'm tap, tap, tapping, because it's not, it's just moving horizontally. It's not wavering up and down like it was. I could turn the grid snap on too, but I'll just keep doing this. See, there's so many different ways you can do things. Okay, that's good. Let's zoom out. Let's go zoom full. Okay, that's good. Let's turn the grid off. Okay, finished. Copy patterns. I'm going to copy this one, this one, this one, and this one. Continue. I'm going to rotate. 1990, and I'm going to move them into place. Now then, let's see, let me zoom in on this corner. Now let's grab this, let's move it. Okay, I'm looking at my diagonal, let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, let's turn the grid on. Let's turn the zoom off and we can move this up a little bit more. Okay, I'm looking for a quarter of an inch. That's it. I was looking here. This is my block. Quarter inch here. This is my block. Quarter inch here. And I'm checking here that the, these, that the diagonal line goes between the two. So let's just zoom f full um, whilst we're here before we exit. All right, I'm going to zoom in on this corner because I want to check this. All right, so now you can see that's a little bit um, across the line there. So let's move this, turn zoom off, let's move that down a bit. Okay, let's turn that grid on again just to make sure this one, see this one, actually this one is much lower than this. Uh, so I'm going to go select. Down. Okay, good. Let's pan over. I need to move this one too, so I go select this. Continue. Let's move that down. Okay, zoom pan over. Okay, and this one. Now I need to select this one. Okay, move it over a little bit. And we'll move it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, really, um, let's go zoom full. Um, this is just our plan. So I'm kind of getting it as exact as possible um, the way I like it, so I know how I want to sew it. Actually, when we come to sew, we'll be, we'll be uh, modifying the patterns to fit the quilt. Um, but having these guidelines here, knowing exactly where I want it, in my plan um, is good too. So let's let's select this one now because I need to move that. Let's zoom in. So what I was trying to say is, you, you if you don't want to do all this actual fine tuning here, um, it doesn't matter. You've got some kind of guide. Uh, as long as you get one how you want it to be on the finished quilt as your to use as your guide, you're okay. Zoom full. 
Okay, that's good. Finished. So there's my borders. So now let's put the sashings in and then we'll deal with those empty corners. Again, we've got a bigger space here, but that's okay because like I said, it, it leaves room for the binding and I can uh, trim off extra. Um, the quilt is going to shrink a little bit up with the quilting. So having that extra space there isn't a bad thing. Uh, you can always cut stuff off, you can't add it back. <laughs> uh, all right, add pattern, block pattern. Uh, select block because I'm going to put the sashing in now and I'm going to select this block here. It turned red. Continue. So I'm going to choose lob continuous. Continue. Now let's zoom in. Let's pan over. Let's turn the grid off. Let's pan over some more. Okay. Zoom off. Okay, I'm going to move it. So this will snap to the center of that cornerstone. I'm going to hit stretch. I'm going to anchor that point. I'm going to grab the other end and I'm going to snap it to the center of the sashing block there. That looks good. I like the space uh, between the edge of the pattern and the seam line. Seam lines there, so that's good. So I'm going to hit finished. And I'm going to use repeat pattern to put the rest of the horizontal sashings in place. So that's the one, continue. Now I need to go to zoom full. I have my zoom lock on, that's why it's not zooming out the whole time. Okay, X repeats. One, two, three, four, five. That's filled that top sashing. Y repeats. Let me just go back to this. Let me zoom in first on where those repeats match up. I want to make sure there's no gap and there isn't and there isn't an overlap. So let's go zoom full again. Okay, now Y repeats. One, two, three. Now they're all close together. I need them here and here and here. These blocks are 10 inches and the sashings are two inches. So if I make the Y distance 12 inches, it will place them correctly and there they are correctly in their sashings good so now I hit finished now I need to do the horizontal sashing so let's go zoom full again zoom off add pattern block pattern select block this one continue blob continuous continue now at this point I need to zoom in because I told IQ not to rotate the pattern when it placed it in the block, it's made it very tiny and it's placed it horizontally. I, of course, want it vertically, so we will rotate it first, 90 degrees. 90 is still selected here, so we'll go this way. So we will go move, we'll put it up here. I will use stretch, anchor that point, grab the end and snap it to there. That's good. Uh, finished. Now we will go repeat pattern. This one. Continue. Go out to zoom full. Okay, Y repeats this time. One, two, three, four, five. Good. X repeats. One, ooh, one two, three. And we need to make the S X distance 12 inches again. And there's all the sashing in place. Finished. So now we've just got this, the four empty corners to deal with, and we're going to put this double heart in there. So I could, um, at this point, I don't actually need to go back to my catalogues. I can just say copy pattern, select this double heart, continue, and I'm going to move the copy over here, and I'm going to uh, flip it around so that the point of the heart is down here. So um, I can either just flip X, flip Y, or I could rotate it either way. But now I'm going to zoom in a little more. And I'm going to scale up. Let's do it this way, just sweep the screen. And I'm going to move it. Oops. 
right and I like what I see. And again, I'm looking for it on that diagonal. Looks like it needs to move a little bit over. Uh, I also don't want this heart to be taller than the feathers. You see right now it's sticking up there, so I need to scale it down some more. I'm going to move it over just a fraction. Um, that looks about right. Let's turn my grid on. That looks, that looks pretty good to me. This comes up. I'm looking at this dark line. Maybe if I move my heart down a little bit. So I'll go down, one, two, to the right, one, two. That'll keep it on the diagonal, rather than me trying to grab it. Let me do that one more time so you can see what I did. So I moved it, rather than grabbing it and trying to move it around. You know, it moves all around the place. Of course, I could use snap to grid. Let's turn the grid on to so it will snap and I will grab this and snap it to that. Oh, that worked well. I snapped it to the grid intersection. I like that. Let me scale that up just one more. Two more things. Let's move it and snap it again to that grid intersection. That looks good. Now, I'm paying attention. It's I'm counting my grid intersections, so um, my grid squares. One, two, three up from the corner. So now when I go out to zoom full and I want to place that heart in that corner, I know exactly where to place it. So I'm going to hit finished, copy pattern, this one. I need to rotate it 45 degrees, I think. 45? No, it would have been 90. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> now we're going to move it <laughs> over here. And I'm going to zoom in there. And I'm going to move it again. Let's turn the zoom off. And I'm remembering I want it to snap to the third square out. So one, two, three. Snap there. That's good. I did it. See what I did? Snap right there. Good. That made it easy. Zoom full, I've finished, copy patterns, this, this, continue, flip Y, move them down, let's zoom in, zoom off, let's move it, let's zoom in some more, one, two, three. Yes, and because I copied both patterns together, I know the other one will be placed correctly too. So we'll go zoom full, and I think we are done. Let's turn the grid off. There is our completed quilt. So I'll go finished, finished, save quilt pattern, save the quilt. Project with blocks, let's go delete, 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 delete. Project space complete. enter, put it in my project catalog. So now next time when we start sewing we can recall this completed project. Um, keep Keeping it uh, separate with the blocks and the borders empty means that you could go in and try some different patterns in the, in the borders and sashings if you wanted later. Uh, okay so next week we will start sewing.